In this video, we will take a look at how we can change material master data massively in SAP S4 HANA. Subscribe now and let's go. First of all, we navigate to transaction code MM17. That's MM17. You can see we get kind of a warning message that in the mass maintenance screen, we must decide which tables of a so-called object type are to be changed. So it's even possible to change multiple tables at the same time. For now, we can click on continue over here and we can even say that we do not want this message to be displayed the next time we enter this transaction. Let's hit on continue. You can see the right object type BUS1001 for materials was already pre-selected. This is because there are also other transaction codes for mass maintenance. But this one here is specifically for our material master. Then over here you can see two tabs tables and fields. We can switch between them if necessary. But for now, let's focus on the tables section where we can see all the tables we can mass maintain if necessary. In this example, we will edit the material descriptions for multiple materials, but you can also select any of the other ones over here. It all works kind of the same way. So let's select materials description and then we click over here on execute. You can see we get another warning message telling us again that many objects can be changed simultaneously and that we need to proceed carefully. Also over here we can say do not display this warning again and then we click on enter. You can see this little screen. We could hit this check mark over here if we do not want to change existing data, but for now we want to change it, so that's fine. Then we select a material. So here you can search via this button for your material, but I know the number by heart, so we can also insert it. Let's say we want to change those materials over here and then we can also restrict the language key so let's say English you can even do it for all the language keys in which the material exists and then we click on execute you can see four materials have been selected let me expand the view over here a little bit with the language key in this description however I do not have the option to edit now the description like that you can see it won't work there's a little trick we need to do we need to click on this little icon over here select fields then we need to select a material description and pull it to the left side via this button over here. And afterwards, we click on continue over here. Before I do so, when I close this window, you will see that this list over here expands to a, another row where we can change the description then. Let's click on continue. And now it's possible to change the description. So here I could say basic paint, let's say blue. And this one is now green additional lightning, shade, basic paint, yellow, something like that. Now I change the description of those four materials. And then I can click on save. You can see you get another warning message that all of our changes will immediately be taken into account, but this is fine. So we say over here, do not display this warning again. And then we click on continue. Now the system takes a couple of seconds and you can see the mass maintenance status for all of the four entries is successful. So all of the descriptions have been changed. We can always verify this by just going to the material master slash O M M zero three. Just copy this number before let's look into this material, select the basic data at least. And you can see before it was basic paint. Now it's basic paint blue. So the changes have been applied successfully. One more thing. If we go back here to the mass maintenance, go back and back again. Once more, we can also use the mass maintenance to actually extend our materials. So for instance, here, states data for material. If we want to extend this, then we select it, click execute. We insert our material and this time we click on data records to be created. You can see another warning message opens. We can create new records for an object and also create new records as a copy of an existing record, thus copying existing values. That's fine for us. Insert our material, then the SAITS organization and distribution channel, and then execute. Here we can see the new data. That's fine for us, so we save. And that's basically it. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked this video. If so, then please subscribe to my channel and activate the bell. See you next time.